hi welcome back to ask hr your channel for authentic hr content and i'm here at this time of the year most people are making major life changes some of these changes have to do with their jobs and their careers a recent survey showed that about 70 percent of working people at this time of the year are definitely changing jobs so already there's a tight competition out there to land a good opportunity and a good job interview is your chance to set yourself apart they say interviews are like a first date first impressions are absolutely necessary awkwardness may occur and the outcomes totally unpredictable but i beg to differ i think interviews are like first dates first impressions absolutely necessary awkwardness however can be avoided and you can go a long way to influence the outcomes of your interviews so in today's video i'm going to share with you three tips that will help you nail that next job interview i'd like you to watch this video to the end because i have a bonus tip for you tip number one appearance you know people judge you by the way you look before anything you ever have to say so it's necessary that you do a lot of work as far as your appearance is concerned i once had a gentleman walk into my interview on a monday morning wearing a green kaftan i'm sure you guys probably know what the end of that story is going to be he didn't get the job even though he exhibited competencies that showed that he could do the work but it's a competition you need to understand that so anything you can do that will set you apart from the rest you need to do so appearance extremely necessary extremely dressing it inappropriately says a number of things about you first you probably don't care about your professional outlook and you don't have high regards for the people i mean you're engaging with and that's the message you're sending across when you dress inappropriately i do not think that's the message you want to present in your interview so acceptable practice say try your best no matter the role you're interviewing for to look as formal as can be and for a gentleman that would mean a suit jacket with a shirt and tie neatly pressed and then shoes that are neat and appropriate for a lady you can do a blouse with trousers a blouse with skirt decent for a lady you can do a skirt or trousers suit with a dress moderate accessories and moderate makeup with a modest pair of of heels whatever you do as far as your appearance is concerned make sure to avoid bright and flashy colors tip number two communication so i'll say communicate confidently and articulate your thoughts clearly now most of you understand that communication goes beyond just what you're saying so your body language is also speaking loudly in your interview so practice 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 eye contact and then also maintaining a very good posture that tells your interviewers that you are comfortable and you are confidently giving out the information even the best of presenters and public speakers prepare prepare and prepare a lot of preparation has to go into the kind of conversation you are going to have in an interview now most of what will be discussed or the conversation will revolve around the job description you were given so make sure you do a lot of reading around the job description so that you can be speaking the language of your interviewer make sure you have researched the organization who are their stakeholders what kind of culture prevails in the organization who are their customers and who are their com competitors competitors these are very important information you need 
to arm yourself with so that you can have a relaxed food for conversation with your interviewers tip number three i like to call this the interview blank check now this is when your interviewer asks you do you have any question for me most people have already been stressed by the entire interview process and are already in a hurry to exit the room so most people say oh i'm fine i mean you addressed everything i would ever want to know about this organization so i think i'll pass on this opportunity well if that is your approach or that has been your approach then you've been shooting yourself in the foot this whole time now when you are asked do you have any questions it's your opportunity to even highlight your skills further especially those skills that were not um, touched on whilst you were engaging with your interviewer so my advice is at least prepare five questions prepare at least five questions because most likely they are going to touch on what you have prepared to ask so that you might have one or two questions in your arsenal so that you would ask your interviewer this shows three things you are assertive you still want to engage further and you've also done your research about the organization which is very very important so never pass on the opportunity to ask your interviewers questions always always do try to avoid questions about what the organization can do for you what are my bonuses how much are you paying me how much leave days do i have well you you are going ahead of yourself in a first interview asking those questions let your questions be centered around what you can offer what the organization's outlook for the future is so you can research questions about what will drive the organization forward rather than what the organization can do for you now to my bonus tip always remember to send a thank you note to your interviewers i mean it's just nice to say thank you but beyond that it does these things for you first it sets you apart from the conversation it puts you top of mind of your interviewers and it shows passion and enthusiasm for the role now it's also your opportunity to if it's an email you're sending for instance and you felt there's something you wanted to address you didn't have the opportunity to a thank you note is your chance to slip it in there and just push yourself further to enter into that vacant slot so always remember to send a thank you after your interviews hey thank you so much for watching today's video i like you to subscribe like share and comment and don't forget to click on that notification bell to get notified of my next video